Hi guys, it's Krista. When Michelle asked me to be her practitioner this week and told me that the topic was planting seeds, I knew immediately that I needed to speak on the part of letting go, the release part of planting seeds, because it's what I always struggled with and still do, so it works as a great reminder. Um, I'm going to be reading from the Science of Mind textbook. This is on page 140 under the heading, It is Done Unto Us. What a marvelous thought to bear in mind that it is done unto us. We need not coerce. We do not create the power, but we must let this great power operate through us. In the infinity of mind, there is nothing but mind, and what mind does, its operations. This mind is acted upon by our thoughts, and in this way, thought becomes the law of our lives. It is just as much a law of our individual lives as God thoughts in the larger life of the universe. We do not create. We use the power of the one mind which creates for us. Our beliefs and our deep-seated convictions inevitably outpicture and reflect themselves in our experience and environment, both in the physical condition of the body and in the larger world of our affairs. What we outwardly are and what we are to become depends upon what we are thinking, for this is the way that we are using creative power. The sooner we release our minds from the thought that we have to create, the sooner we shall be able to work in line with spirit. Man always uses. He never creates anything. The united intelligence of the human race could not make a single rosebud, but our thought, centered in mind, is using the creative power of the universe. Realizing then that while the power is limitless, it must become operative through our own thought. We shall see that what we need is not some greater power, but a greater consciousness, a deeper realization of life a more sublime concept of being, a more intimate concept of an already indwelling God who is personal to us by virtue of being personified through us. Okay, so with that, let's do treatment. There is one divine spirit, one God who is expressed through each and every one of us working through us, in us, around us, as us. We are all one with God and we are all one with each other. And in this oneness, we are able to use the power of mind to create for us and to manifest all of our needs and our, all of our wants. By simply planting a seed with a thought or an intention, a desire or an emotion, that seed sprouts within the divine spirit the law then immediately goes into action on our behalf to make manifest those seeds that we've planted. We do not need to control the process. We only need to know in our hearts that the greater consciousness has our backs and we need to release our mind from the creative process because we know that it is already done. Our job is simply to plant the seed. The earth spirit does the rest. And it is with great gratitude that I can knowingly release all control because I know that the universe, the divine, myself and all of us are one. And as one, we cannot not work together in creating this life and creating all the beauty that we want to be surrounded with. And I say, thank you, God, for this. And so it is. Aho. I am practitioner for the week. So if anybody would like treatment, please feel free to reach me um, either through the New Thought email or you can email me directly at krista.e.erickson at gmail.com. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderfully blessed Sunday.